Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss the midpoint theorem. Now in grade 10 you had done a theorem that states that the la line passing through the midpoint of one triangle parallel to another side then it bisects the third side. So what are they saying in this specific theorem? They are saying that if you have a triangle and you have a line that is parallel to it also when you have a line one side is cut in half. Now cut in half means they are exactly the same. If one is 5, the other one is 5. If one is x, the other one is x. What it does to the other side, it also cuts it in half. It's not equal. The one side can be 10 and the other side can be 5. So I can have them cut in the length of 10 and 10 and I can have them cut in the length of 5 and 5 but the emphasis is on the fact that they are equal. The ratios are equal. So if you simplify it, it's 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 1. Now, let us go to your grade 12 theorem. The first theorem you learned said that if I had one side parallel to the other, then this side, if I had x and 3x, would be in proportion to the other side. That is what the first theorem you learned said. It basically said that if I had parallel lines, then I had a proportion. So if I had a parallel line, then the sides on the triangle would be in proportion. Now what is the difference between this theorem? This theorem says that if a line segment joins the midpoint of two sides, now pay attention to the wording. If a line segment joins the midpoint. Midpoint means middle. So it joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle. So what is it saying? It's saying that I have a triangle and I have a line segment but as soon as I put this line segment it is cutting it in half. Remember, I'm not saying that the lengths are equal. I'm not saying that AE is equal to AD. Neither am I saying that BE is equal to DC. I'm saying that if the line AB was 50, then it would have cut it into 25 and 25, exactly in the middle. If the side was 60, then it would have cut it into 30 and 30. So what I'm saying is it is cutting it in the midpoint. It is not telling me that the lengths are equal. So watch your language. Right. And is parallel to the third side. So now look, they're giving us one more thing. It's parallel. So it is parallel to the third side then it is equal now what are they saying it is equal to half of the third side what is equal to half of the third side the line segment that you were discussing right in the beginning so the line segment in this case is ED so if a line let's say ED joins the midpoint so it joins the middle of two sides of a triangle and it is parallel to the third side of the triangle then it is equal to half of the third side meaning if this is 50 then this will be 25 if this is 100 then this would be 50 what would you notice it is always half of the third side meaning if this is 2x half of that would be x and that is the difference between the theorem you learned first and the second theorem now what is the name of the second theorem this is a very famous name it is called mid point theorem very often we would see that the learners would say midpoint chord but midpoint chord is not a theorem in grade in grade 12. There is a difference between midpoint chord 
and midpoint theorem. If you state midpoint chord, you will be marked wrong. The theorem is midpoint theorem. That is the reasoning. Okay. And when we did the first theorem, then the, the reasoning we used was line parallel to one side of the triangle. Thank you for watching.